Hey everyone, Sparks back with another Echo Clips video, and Levia is here, it's my girl. This is what first got me interested in Echo Clips in the first place. Her design is crazy, I'm sure you guys need no other explanation as to how she caught my attention. But, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at her here. And, oops, actually went to the event. That's some good art there too, but let's let's go to the draw screen, and there is Levia. Now, Levia is actually short for Leviathan, so some people might say it should be pronounced um, Levia or something like that. But anyway, she is the leader of the church, and uh, she definitely wants you to worship her. And uh, let's go ahead and see why you probably should. So, um, taking a look at her skills here. Her first skill says Levia sends down the Retribution of Augustus, dealing 88% magic damage to a single enemy row. There's a 20% chance to restore two rage to herself. Uh, this is really good. Uh, really, really good. Like, just self-rage generation automatically restoring two rage on her normal attack. So this is super, super good. And then if we look at her special skill, it says the heavenly judgment shall befall the world, deals 112% magic damage to all enemies. There's a 50% chance to restore two rage to another allied row. So she is going to nuke the entire field with um, big magic damage. And then whatever row she's not on, she has a chance to restore two rage to. So again, crazy rage generation. And then let's take a look at her passive. Levia unleashes a blaze of light at the start of the battle. Levia gains two rage. So she's going to start out with rage right away. So um, basically, Levia is just like a rage generating machine for herself and all of your other allies. And if we take a look at her support abilities, um, she can get 10% resistance. And the second one gives um, support team members 10% resistance. And then the uh, third one is all team members get HP 10%. And um, as far as her changes between C and global, um, basically there aren't any. So I can tell you right now from what I know about the CN meta, uh, she is on all of the meta teams. Uh, so she is a really strong pickup to this day in CN, which is several months ahead of us. And then even on the C server, she's not like a top top best unit, but she's still very, very good. I'd say she's just kind of like one level below all those super um, OP units. Um, she's still definitely very usable even on C, and like I said, she is at the top of the meta in CN right now, from what I know. And so I fully expect her to be extremely good here in Global, and I would definitely recommend that you pull for her. I'm going to pull for her. I have a lot of resources here, and I'm going to go for her in this video. We'll see how long our summoning session takes, but I'm prepared to go all in and get at least her to four stars and probably get her weapon too. Um, let's take a look at her... Um, artifice here. So these are the things that changed a little bit. So um, I, I believe, right? So we have um, hit rate is at 25%. Yeah. So in um, CN, she, or sorry, in C, um, this was only 20%. Um, damage bonus also gets a buff up. Uh, block rate also gets a buff up. So all of these things um, basically all got about a 5% buff. So she's going to be slightly better than she even was in C. Um, but basically she functions the same way. Her kit is the same way. Um, she's just slightly upgraded to kind of keep up with some of the changes they made to the game overall. Um, let's also take a look at her weapon because you'll definitely want to go for that. Um, let's see what it does. It says, Levia gains the light when casting the skill. She has a 10% chance to restore two rage for two random allies. So again, more rage generation and two random allies. So this way she could do it on uh, her row as well because her other skill does it to the opposite row. Um, each time she casts her skill, her chance to restoring rage increases by 10%. So she's going to get more and more likely the longer the battle goes on to keep restoring rage. Um, rage generation is just an extremely good ability in this game because it allows you to keep using your best skills over and over, which is also one of the reasons why I really encourage people to go for the Holy Grail because again, more rage generation. So you can do some pretty silly things when you're just using your super over and over and over because you keep restoring rage. So. All that said, 
I would go for her. She is an excellent character. She's also my favorite character. And uh, if you guys are a Nikkei player, you'll know that my girl over there is Snow White in Echo Clips. It's Levia. So she also has the craziest skin right here. I will be purchasing this, but after we summon for her. Also, she is going to get a 10% boost to all her stats, okay? Now, I know some people are going to say this is kind of pay to win. You're right. It is, but I'm still going to pull for it. Um, a 10% 10% stat boost from that skin is absolutely worth it. And she's a good investment because she's going to be a unit that you're going to keep using. All right, let's go ahead and do our first 10 pull here. Wish me luck, guys. Show me the orange spark. No, it's purple. All right. <laughs> what do we got next? Um, by the way, you can see that I'm not home. I'm still uh, visiting family for the holidays. Um, we're at draw weight 20. Let's go ahead and do another pull. Show me Levia. So unfortunately, I can't do the lights in the background. Otherwise, I would do purple lights for her. Um, that's kind of her main color. All right, we got another miss here. Another 10 times summon. We're at draw weight 30. Come on, Levia. I will worship at the church. It's orange. It's orange. It's orange. That's all I needed to say. I'll worship at the church. Here she is. <laughs> I am a loyal follower of Levia. There we go. Thank you. That was that was pretty quick and painless. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to keep pulling for more. Let's go. I still have over 200 of these. Of course, our draw weight reset. Purple again. I guess maybe in a way it's good that we don't have the purple lights in the background to riz up our girl here because purple is not the spark that we're going for. The purple is her color. That's why I would have chosen that. But right now, I really just want to see orange. Let's go, let's go. Let me know in the comments below. Ooh, it is orange. It's orange. Ah, oh, it's Garula. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, that that is that is not what I want to see here. Um, oh, but we also got Levia. Oh, it, dude, I didn't even notice. Dude, double pull, double pull. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's a huge win. And honestly, Garula is good because in the future, one of my other units that I'm really looking forward to is Nile. She's a really strong DPS and her link is Garula. And just expanding my collection of units is going to keep buffing up. Look at that. You saw the account power buff up because I got another new unit. All right, let's go ahead and do it again. We're going to keep pulling. Purple. Looking for that orange. I was going to say, let me know in the comments below um, if you're going for Levia. But let's be realistic. All of you guys are going for Levia. If you're not, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> orange spark again. Orange spark again. Baphomet. Okay, she's a new unit for me as well. All right. She is also a member of the church. I guess that's appropriate that we got her. That's cool. I'll take another new unit. We're filling out the links, and we got another account buff. This is this is excellent. I will not complain about this at all. Another 10 pull. Yo, we are getting some crazy luck here. We already have two copies of Levia, plus two new SSRs. Let me know if you have any questions about how she works, possible good teams to work on her with. Um, all right, we're at draw weight 13. Let's take a quick break from pulling for her. And let's go to her weapon, because we want to make sure... Oh, also, we have a rate up for Niz. This could definitely be worth pulling for as well. Niz is a very useful character. Honestly, I underutilize her here in my global account. Um, I'll probably have to make some squads with her at some point. But anyway, let's go ahead and do our 10 pull for um, Levia's weapon here. Ooh, it's purple. I love the animation, though. The way you, like, slam that thing down is very satisfying. All right, that's a miss. Let's do it again. Another purple. Ooh, but we did get a new thing. From, uh, what's her name? Yori. And uh, whatever that girl's name is with the redhead. She looks pretty good. Two of my favorite SRs, actually. All right, another 10 pull. This is our last one. I will probably use some Iridomorphite to um, exchange to get some more. Um, just to make sure I get her weapon. But for this video, this is going to be our last one because we don't have any more of the living metal. 
Ooh, but it's gold. It's gold. Come on. Yes, we got it. Dude, we cannot miss here. This is crazy. All our dreams are coming true. <laughs> All right, guys, um, let's go ahead and take a quick... Oh, yeah, of course it's going to tempt me to buy stuff. We'll, we'll ignore that for now. Let's go ahead and go to our case, and we can see Levia right here. All right, so um, I am going to buy the skin for her. I'm going to keep pulling for her to at least get her to four stars. Uh, but I think we'll go ahead and end the video right here. Um, I'll do a community post later on to let you know um, if I reach goals of uh, getting more copies of her. But anyway, subscribe for more Echo Clips videos. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I will resume my streaming um, starting the new year, okay? So we're still on vacation, but I stream every week on YouTube and Twitch if I'm not on vacation like this. So um, after New Year's, I will resume my normal streaming schedule. Um, yeah, subscribe for more videos, and I will catch you guys in the next video.